Hi, Craig James, with a look at the latest ComSec report. It's a report into the size of homes being built here in, in Australia. And it's providing another perspective on the housing market conditions that are operating you know, here in, in Australia. Now, from the, the late 1990s, Australia had been building the biggest homes in the world, but that's no longer the case. The data that we commissioned from the, the Bureau of Statistics shows that the United States is now building the biggest homes in, in the world. 250 square metres on average in the United States, 231 square metres here in, in Australia. In Australia, the biggest homes can be found in Victoria, 241 square metres in Victoria, ahead of that of uh, Queensland and New South Wales. And the biggest apartments also in, in Victoria at 131 square metres ahead of New South Wales and in South Australia. The interesting trend that we've seen over the last three years, more households have been created. So we've got people moving out of um, home, perhaps Gen Y moving out of home, uh, perhaps um, more divorces or uh, other situations causing households to, to be created. And as a result, what people are demanding is smaller apartments and smaller uh, houses. More households are being created justifies to some extent the amount of home building that we've been seeing in Australia. So this adds a new perspective in terms of the debate. It's not just population which is rising, which is causing more homes to be built. It's the fact that more households have been created. Now these are the two trends that we should bear in mind as we move forward over the next couple of years and more homes are coming on, onto the market. There may indeed be significant justification for the amount of home building that we're seeing. This certainly may put to the lie the fact that we're moving into an oversupply situation, that we're building you know, too many homes. We believe that these are trends worth watching not just in terms of a house size, but also the number of households being created. That provides another perspective about the, the housing market and indeed whether we are becoming you know, sort of overbuilt in terms of homes.